Hey YouTube, welcome back to Project Finance. In today's video, we're going to talk about week five of the Dividend Challenge. And if you're new to the channel, the Dividend Challenge is where I invest $200 every week into my portfolio, no matter how good or bad the market is, with the end goal of reaching $20,000 in my M1 Finance portfolio. We're now using M1 Finance as one of the portfolios and Weeble. My Weeble account's almost up and ready to go. We'll check it out at near the end of the video. And um, hopefully we get to Robinhood sometime soon. And that's the bad news for you guys. Um, today is going to be the last day you'll see me with my mustache and beard. I'm just kind of over it. I'm just gonna shave everything off and you'll see my clean face for the first time on this channel. I got a lot of messages from my friends saying that you need to shave that thing off. And um, yeah, so I'm gonna shave it off. It's been about two and a half months, I think since March 15-ish, since I last shaved. It's as long as I've ever been without shaving. So yeah, that's pretty much it about me. A um, Couple of news that happened this past weekend was uh, in LA was the riots. Um, hopefully everyone's safe out there and uh, abiding the curfew laws and hopefully if you guys own a business in the LA area Hopefully you guys are okay and everyone's safe. It's unfortunate with all these events are happening in 2020 Hasn't been a good year. A lot of small business owners were planning to go back to work this week And unfortunately they're unable to due to the riot. But first and foremost, um, hopefully you guys everyone's safe and I'll uh, just get into the video so I don't know um, how the riot affects the stock market apparently a lot of things getting destroyed a lot of government um, buildings are getting destroyed, so I wouldn't be surprised if the stock went down. Let's see here. Oh shit, I'm up $638. All right, I guess um, it's good. <laughs> Last week, I think I was up $400 and I think 4.3%, and I'm up 7.35%. I remember the last video also I said that I was gonna figure out why the numbers are different. I didn't look into it yet. So if you guys do know why the numbers are different from the activities, um, please let me know down below. I'll try to figure it out by next week for sure. And also my Weeble account did have all my money transferred over from Merrill Edge. So we'll go over that after the M1 Finance portfolio. So let's get into the first pie. The first pie is aggressive ETF pie. We're up a total of $344.33, up 7.96%. Um, I think this is the majority of the money is, yeah, is the majority of the gains is from the aggressive ETF pie, which which makes sense. It's it's 50% of the pie. But even with these two slices here, it doesn't equivalent to this $344. I think this is about $293. But yeah, it's going to the aggressive ETF pie. Everything's in the green. Let's go over the week. Yeah, everything's still in the green during the week. Let's go back to all. The biggest gains is obviously VOO, just because it's the highest slice, but 40%. It's up $126.98 with a percentage of 7.34%. And the lowest gains is SHY at 26 cents with a 0.12% gain. The highest percentage gain is still VB, small capital at 12.25%, up $78.06. Um, that's pretty insane, 12% small capital doing their job. Let's go look more in detail into this one. Last three months. So you see the drop happen here and it's slowly kind of climbing back to what it was before. Um, before the drop was at 170 and now it's at 145 ish. Let's go back here And the market as a whole is kind of doing overall pretty good except for SHY like like real estate in emerging markets is about 8 to 9 percent Which is not bad at all. Then again, we were at all-time low so it can only go back up But yeah, let's go back to the other pie. So dividend hunting pie. We're up $184.94 uh, up a total of 8.58 percent uh, let's go inside and the highest percentage wise it's agnc at 8.69 percent up a total of 93 dollars and 18 cents i love agnc i don't know what i'll say about it i, I boast this one all, all the time uh, a lot of people say that agnc is a really risky stock but um in my experience it's been good i can't say anything more than that like i don't know why people are saying it's risky because like before like if you start 2019 it's only been going up and then this is where the drop happened so i mean I guess if you're thinking about it, the last five years, it's been coming down. But I kind of bought in around 2019. And yeah, it's been doing well. And it's a 14.99% dividend yield, man. I can't complain. But everyone else is doing pretty well too. BlackRock and the HY, which is one of the ones I added not too long ago. They're doing pretty well as well. Overall happy. The last pie is Growing Pie. Growing Pie is up $108.90, up a total of 4.96%. Let's go inside. Everything is in the green. Let's go over in the week. Still in the green, cool. And waste management being the highest slicer here, uh, up 8.68%, total of $28.46. Um, not bad. Um, I chose this because it's a utility that I personally felt that it was gonna do well, and luckily it did. Let's look into it a little bit here. As you see here, it had a jump over the past week. I know like this line graph didn't show you in much of anything because like usually use candlesticks, but um, just to see like the jumps and stuff like that, like it's good enough. I can't tell you why it jumped, but I can see where it jumped 
and that's all I kind of care about because this is a long-term investing account. I'm not trying to move and sell money. I'm not trying to like day trade and stuff like that. So I don't really care about candlesticks and looking at different lines and stuff like that. I just kind of want to see the general overview of how the money's been going. So let's go back here. One of the slices that was negative last week was the GSK, which is the pharmaceutical. It's kind of coming back here. I was not doing as well as I thought it was going to do. I thought it was going to do a lot better than just 1% gain, but um, let's see last month. So this is where it was last week and now it went back up. But hopefully it keeps going up and it's pharmaceuticals it usually does really well with the 4.69% of yields. Not too bad to have. And like, I don't really care if it goes up or not. I just want to kind of stay the same. Like I said, all my videos, dividends, I just care for it to stay the same. But for these growing pie ones, I kind of wanted to go up. Their dividend yield isn't that high. So these slices here are more for the percentages than for the dividend yields. So let's go to my activity here. I saw my email that I did get some dividends and I did, I got $3.60 from BlackRock and I got $7.56 from GOF. And that brings my total gains and dividends is $45.73, free money. Yeah, I can't hate on that. So then I got reinvested right here on Monday morning, my $200 that I deposited every week and along with the $11 from coming from these two dividends here. Let's go to the holdings. Uh, let's go to unrealized gains here. So the highest unrealized gains is always VOO, which is the highest slice of everybody. And the other two is still AGNC and VB. These are also, I think, second and third and slices. The percentage wise, I think VB is the highest at 9.87%. And second highest is VA, which is developed markets, um, up 8.46%. Not bad. And see, let's see the lowest three. SHY is down 0.07% and GSK 0.25% and Exxon 1.56% lowest three. But I don't think I showed you guys this, this is pretty much my pies. Let me show you one other cool thing about M1 Finance. So M1 Finance shows you the whole dividend yield of your whole account, which is, I think is really, really useful. Um, if you have a Robinhood account, I would recommend opening M1 Finance just for this. You don't have to invest anything, just make your own pie and kind of figure out what your dividend yield is and your expense ratios. And it kind of keeps track of overall all your holdings using $100 as the starting point. So all 17 of my stocks, I will be up a total of 5.13%. So, I mean, that's pretty cool that you can kind of do this and you can change, obviously change by week or month and how to see how your whole portfolio is doing, which is pretty, pretty neat. And um, you can go into your slices too and kind of see the same thing. So this regards to ETF pie, but my overall the dividend yield is 2.4%. 68% and my dividend hunting is 13.537%. And the last one is growing pie, which is 5.147%. So if you average everything out using percentages and stuff like that, it comes up to be 5.9%, which is still like pretty high. I was hoping to get closer to seven, but I think the, having this as 50% of my pie is gonna be not possible. Um, I would have to probably move more of my growing pie into my dividend hunting pie or release some of my aggressive ETF pie into dividend hunting pie to get a higher percentage, which I don't know if I want to do that right now. I kind of want to keep aggressive ETF pie. It's doing pretty well on its own. So I think this feature is really useful. And another cool feature that M1 Finance has is this expert pie button. Um, if you don't know what you're kind of trying to invest in, they kind of help you out here and you can kind of look at other people's pies and invest in their whole pie. So if you don't know what you're doing, you just take this whole pie at your portfolio here and then um, invest into it. I think this is pretty neat if you are new to investing and just kind of get your feet wet. You can kind of choose which one you want to do here, learn from these pies, and then maybe in a month or two, you can kind of go on your own and just kind of just tweak the pies in the way you like it. The biggest thing about investing is that you have to be investing already. If you have $100, try investing $100. Just be immersed in the system and the news and how they buy stuff. Kind of get used to the whole feeling of investing and uh, I think it's a really good starting point if you've never invested before. So um, that's pretty much it for everyone finance. If you guys have any questions, uh, please comment down below. My link for M1 Finance is down below as well. You'll get a bonus for signing up, I believe. And um, I'll get a little cut too. At no cost for you. So yeah, we help each other out. But let's go to Weeble. So Weeble, actually, I think I transferred $7,000 into here. I'm not sure what it was because at my Merrill Edge, I don't really keep track of it. And I believe I got an email saying that I got a free stock as well. So we'll, we'll do the scratcher for that too and find out what free stock I got. I'm not too used to the desktop version of this, so maybe if I can't find it, I'll go to my mobile. But yeah, my total account is $7,696.81. My cash balance is $1,071.51. This came from the $1,000 I deposited last week and $71 from 
what the Merrill Edge account I already had. I think on Merrill Edge, when I got a dividend, I didn't reinvest it because it's so hard to reinvest like $30 into a stock. So I just left it there. But with M1 Finance, you can do that with fractional shares and reinvest that really easily. And then how the three stocks came from my Merrill Edge account, which is T-Mobile, AT&T, and Starbucks. So like I said in my last video, I said I was going to sell these AT&T and Starbucks either on my M1 Finance account or this account because I just have so much AT&T Starbucks. Like there's no reason to diversify on three different accounts. I also have AT&T on my Robinhood account as well. So I need to sell those out. Yeah, so I have 100 stocks in at and 20 stocks in Starbucks, and 20 stocks in T-Mobile. I bought this T-Mobile back when um, they're announcing the Sprint and T-Mobile merging. And I think this was up, I think like 30%, if I remember correctly. But when you transfer from account to account, it doesn't show you the gains on it. And then my one free stock is this GNW, the $3.10 I showed you guys last week. It's down $0.05. Cents. So thank you, Weeble, for giving me this crappy stock. But anyways, let's um, see if I can open the new stock. So we got Weeble here, free stock. So we got LEVI at $13.81. Is this Levi? Like the, the pants? <laughs> oh yeah, this is Levi, this is the pants. So cool, at $13.81. Better than the other one where it's $3, but yeah, not bad. I was hoping for an Amazon stock. <laughs> if you guys want to try out Weeble, uh, links down, also down below. Um, you'll also get two free stocks. Uh, you get one for signing up and then one when you can deposit. Totally free. Don't spend any money. So that's pretty much it for this video. Um, I'm not sure if I want to add this $7,000 into my thumbnail yet. This money isn't kind of settled yet. I kind of want to move this money around a little bit before I post it into the thumbnail. So it's kind of going to be misleading if I'm putting this money in and it's not really invested in the way that I want the channel to kind of move forward with. So I'm going to leave the $7,000 outside until it's all settled and I'm going to show you the account when I'm done with it. I think it's going to be the last time I show it until I start buying with it. Um, just because I haven't been able to keep track of news and buy and sell at the pace I want to buy and sell. A lot of things going on right now. So this is probably going to be the last time you use my Weeble account until I have everything cleaned up. And at the same time, I think my Robin has also be cleaned up as well. But that's going to be it for today's video. Let me know down below how your stocks are doing. And lastly, thank you guys so much for watching the video. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, like this content, ring the notification bell, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.